What's up everybody, it is your boy Nick Noodles coming at you with another great video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get a PS5 for retail off the Sony Direct website. Now, in my opinion, this is the best way to do it without really a bot. We're gonna be using an IP spoofer. If you don't know what that means, basically we're gonna make our computer look like multiple different computers across multiple different networks and this is going to increase our odds of getting a good spot in the queue now i really like this method because one it's pretty cheap all you need is the ip spoofer which is 30 bucks if you're in a cook group that bots you can likely get it for 23 bucks and the only other thing that you need is proxies and you can get 25 isps or data center proxies for about 50 bucks so what that's going to do is give you 25 more times to get a better place in the queue i'm going to explain all of this i have footage of me actually getting through the queue i've done this multiple times um two times to be exact i do this pretty much every time i've gone through sony direct the footage i'm going to show you was my third attempt doing it i did get through the queue but i think i used a duplicate payment method or something wasn't right with my address i think it detected a duplicate address because it wouldn't let me check out but if this is your first time getting a ps5 you don't have to worry about this if you do know how to jig the address though so that you can get multiples definitely leave a comment down below but let's go ahead and get started so in this example right here i'm using aycd and if you're a botter then you know what this is this is for mainly um, farming your gmails but you can use it to also get ps5s for retail and the main tool we're going to be using is this spoof tool right here. So all we're going to do is hit this play button. It's going to open it up. Um, and it can be a little bit intimidating at first. There are a lot of different options. But the only two things we need to worry about are the proxies tab and the browsers tab. So first go to the, the proxies tab. And we're just going to hit this create button. And I just have a fake list of proxies here. Um, you'll just hit copy those proxies in there. Um, paste them in the list and you can name it if you want I'm not going to do that but um, we'll just save it and then your list of proxies will be here again it's going to run you about 50 bucks to get 25 of them do a little bit of research it should be pretty easy to find some providers I will list them in the description after that you're going to go to the browsers tab and this is where the magic happens so all we're going to do here is again go to create and in um, the category just hit all autofill script none task url this is important you're going to want to get the sony direct website link um usually if you follow a twitter account they'll have the exact link to the ps5 so you can just paste that in or you can just paste it in this direct.playstation.com so go ahead and put that in there proxies again this is important um you can hit all or just even select all but whatever proxies you put there that's what you're going to use now for one click profile the PlayStation Direct Q does use a CAPTCHA and the more Gmail accounts that you have farmed that you can use on this, the better because um, your proxies will be a lot faster to solve. But I don't think you actually need multiple Gmails. I'm pretty sure you can just use a few. Um, so if you're not a botter, just use two to three personal Gmails and just experiment with that. I personally have a lot because I farm a lot of Gmails. Um, but I mean, I have 18 on my list and I'll usually run 25 tasks and I don't have any problems. So you'll just either hit this drop down menu and select the ones you want to use, or you can just hit select all. Uh, and then this is also important, the quantity. I always do one to one ratio. So however many proxies I have is the amount of tasks that I'm going to create. And then you don't have to worry about these controls right here. So you'll save those there. And um, as you can see here, I'm using multiple proxies per task. If you have enough proxies, then each task will have an individual one, which is what you want. I would not advise doing more than one task on one proxy. Otherwise, it might not even get into the queue. But uh, once the queue goes up, go ahead and hit the start button for all of these. To open up the actual browser and see like the queue and the check and the captcha, you just hit each one of these eyeball things now i'm going to show you in real time what this looks like so whenever the queue goes up sometimes they'll give you about 20 or 30 minutes to set up before it goes live so right here after i have all my tasks ready i'm just hitting the start button and depending on your setup you may be able to run more than 25 25 may be too slow i have a pretty specked out computer so it can handle 25 tasks at a time 
And right here, you can see me solving CAPTCHAs for every single instance. Since I have 25 tasks, I have to solve 25 CAPTCHAs. And as you can see here, my CAPTCHAs are really, really slow. And that's probably because some of my Gmails aren't the best. You'll see later that I have some faster CAPTCHA solves. So the more quality Gmails that you have, the easier this will be. But since they give you a lot of time, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. So once the timer runs down, the queue will start and all your instances will be assigned a random spot in line. Now, the more instances you have, the higher chance you're going to have of getting a good spot. So as you can see here, I'm alt tabbing and just kind of checking every single instance to see where it's at in terms of the wait time. Now you'll notice most of them start at more than an hour. Don't be too scared though if you see this. It's completely normal. It has to update, get everybody synchronized up. In a few seconds here, you'll see that some of those actually go from more than an hour wait to a 12 to eight minute wait. So definitely don't lose hope if they're all at one hour. Now, I would say if you get anything between one minute to 10 minute, it's pretty much guaranteed you're gonna cop. I feel like stuff doesn't sell out until around the 15 minute mark, but Regardless, if you get one of those that are under 15 minutes, you want to be ready to go because there is definitely a chance that these could sell out super fast. Here are the updated tasks that show I have a way shorter time than an hour, even though like a few minutes before this, it all said more than an hour. And as you can see, I'm going to focus on the task that has three minutes left. Um, this is just showing progress throughout the drop. Eventually, it is going to go and take you to the direct PlayStation website. Now you want to make sure that you have an account set up. I forgot to do the personalization for the account or whatever. So it took me a few times to get signed in. Definitely. If you're having errors, don't be afraid to refresh the site. It will not kick you out of the queue. Um, but definitely make sure you have an account set up. Keep trying to sign in because it won't let you cart unless you're signed in. Once you're able to cart because you're signed in just spam the shit out of it until it's actually in your cart you're going to see me here in a few seconds just continually spamming it until it gets in my cart eventually it does and this is where i started having problems with the checkout process again i think there was something wrong with my address i live in an apartment now so maybe it thinks it's a duplicate order because someone here has gotten it i'm not really sure but they were charging the shit out of my virtual PayPal card. They charged it three times. So after the third time, I was like, I'm going to run out of credit soon. So I just got to stop going for this. So yeah, that's pretty much how I've been able to get some PS5s for retail. They are still reselling for a lot of money. And it looks like there's going to be a shortage of these up until next year. So if you're trying to get one for retail, I hope that this helps you out. Again, it's not that expensive to do considering how much these resell for. If you have to pay 80 bucks to be guaranteed one, then I think that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. And if you do bot, you already have access to all these tools, so you might as well use them to their full potential. But I hope you all enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I hope I explained it well. But I hope you guys cook, and I'll see you on the next video.